it is officially noon so good afternoon i have not posted a vlog in a long time i feel like i say posted because i have filmed if you follow me on instagram which you definitely should um <laughs> i have been vlogging really consistently actually i filmed air miss's birthday in chattanooga where i caught the airbnb on fire memory car got damaged couldn't post that phoenix get out out you know we don't come in the kitchen out out um i've done i've actually vlogged a lot or it's if i don't finish the vlog and it's like unfinished footage or it's just too choppy to post so many things then i just got busy i've been super like consistent with working out and everything like that um let's see i cut my hair off let me i'm gonna bring phoenix in against the rules come here phoenix because last time y'all saw phoenix she had hair so she's cut her hair off now okay out the kitchen out the kitchen out the kitchen mama broke the rules out the kitchen okay um but yeah it's just been a lot going on so this is gonna be a little bit of a catch-up weekend vlog it is friday at noon like i said i still have to work out and do some stuff for work but the weather is so 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 nice in atlanta right now so i was like i'll probably have some things i'll do this weekend and i just want to catch up with y'all um talk about what i've been up to plans i have how i'm going as far as you know my wellness and fitness journey trips we have planned all that kind of stuff how i don't have any hair anymore it's a mess right now so i won't show y'all right now but i'll put a clip right here of the reel i did or like a little video just so you can see how my hair will look and does look when I do something to it and just catch up you know we went to Mexico for five days I didn't really vlog that because I wanted to enjoy it so I'm just feeling in a good space and I'm feeling in a space to be able to vlog now I get affected a little bit by seasonal depression so the sunlight and the warmth coming back and it not getting dark at three in the afternoon anymore and all that kind of stuff just has me like whew, I'm feeling good feeling great how are you so yes weekend vlog catch up vlog plan on doing some makeup or something tomorrow maybe we'll go to brunch definitely gonna go to the park with the dogs been a really good routine with them just hey y'all just hey let's just hang out that's what this vlog is i just want to hang out so let me get my life together a little bit here then i'm going to head to my trainer kiera's house to work out in the dungeon y'all know y'all seen that before i'm gonna do a little more in depth of that and the workout i'm doing and everything like that and I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, y'all, I made it. I'm here despite procrastinating as long as humanly possible, I'm here. Well, I mean, I've been working on a long time, but I'm trying to focus on making more of a lifestyle, less of destination oriented. Someone asked if I was gonna do any before pictures or anything like that. Probably not, I'm trying to not do that because I feel like it just makes me pick at myself and I always feel like, okay, five pounds, I gotta get ready for this vacation, gotta get ready, and I'm trying to just focus on like being healthier in general, if that makes sense. So yeah, I am doing, I know I just said I'm not doing any crazy cleanses or anything, but I am doing, oh, I'm gonna get this set up together in here. I am doing the Bougie Hippie Cleanse with the Meltdown Pill and apple cider vinegar gummies and the fat burner, and I do really like it. I will probably do a rev review video on it, but um, I'm not done with it yet, but I do like it. I know I said I'm not trying to stay on any crazy cleanses, but it's not my biggest focus. I'm trying not to be obsessed with it, and I'm trying to work on getting a healthy relationship with working out and food. I don't want to ramble too much, and I need to get my workout, but if I am really candid, there is an Instagram page I was following just about mental health and stuff, and they kind of talked about like black girls and relationship with food and stuff like that and I had to be honest and candid myself and be like I have a bad relationship with food and weight loss and probably low-key especially in the past probably low-key borderline eating disorder just as far as like food is not a treat workout is not punishment I don't have to earn food um working out does not balance bad hat like I don't have to obsess over food and if every time I go to eat I'm thinking about gaining weight or things like that or if i'm trying to overwork out to balance out a bad choice those kind of things so just having to be very candid with myself and say like you have a poor relationship with food you don't have a healthy relationship with working out with food or weight loss in general all that is to say while i'm not really focusing on doing progress pictures and stuff like that i'm just trying to really just make it a part of my life and not so much a destination goal kind of thing because it does it is harmful mental health wise as well and it can mess up my confidence and stuff like that. I know that got really deep, really fast, and I'm like, eat it as hard. But 
I low key, if I can find the post, I'm gonna put the post in here or like a link to the post in the description box because it was just saying certain things like it, it, you have a unhealthy relationship with food if you think about these things before you eat or if every time you eat you think about gaining weight instead of just enjoying the food and that is definitely me. I feel like all my food decisions are based on weight gain or if I eat something that's not healthy I immediately think about weight gain and just different stuff like that which is dumb because I'm fine and that's not me being like cocky. I know that I'm attractive like that's stupid. If, if I eat Chinese I'm not unattractive. This got extremely deep extremely early on in the vlog. Let's work out but yeah, so hopefully some of you guys can relate. I'm sure that you can. So if you have issues with dieting or working out or consistency or any of that stuff, just remember you're not alone. It is a lifestyle. We are all human. We are all also delusional is what I figured out. And you cute, period. So let's work out. <laughs>
today should be Saturday, but it's Sunday. I hope my dishwasher's not too loud. So we had a really good time <laughs> Friday night. A little bit too much of a good time. Um, and I was so tired of the vlog yesterday. We slept in, we have a bed in his man cave. We slept in the man cave, child. We got up late, slept in, which is how I want to do Saturday sometimes, because I usually am still up at like 7 a.m. So I was excited to sleep in. Met my dad for lunch at Papa Do, which I did need to vlog, but we were rushing. So I didn't get a chance to vlog, but it's okay. We're gonna pick up Sunday. Start my day, I always clean. Had my gospel music going, just finished washing the dishes. I'm just kind of cleaning that up now. I don't feel like my dishwasher should be making a noise. Um, but yeah, it's really nice today. It's supposed to be like 80 degrees, so I'm absolutely taking Phoenix um, to the dog park or to the belt line. It's just gonna be too nice to be in the house all day. I was supposed to go grocery shopping, but um, I ended up just ordering from Amazon. I don't do the Whole Foods Amazon ordering. I do the Amazon cart. Is that Alexa talking? Where she be listening? Um, I do the Amazon Fresh, which I love because they deliver for free. A lot of times the prices are cheaper than a grocery store. So yeah, that's gonna get delivered today at five o'clock. So happy about that. So that's done. Um, I probably should do some laundry or something, but mostly today I just need to make sure I get ready for the week. All of that kind of stuff. I don't have too much of a crazy week coming up, but I probably just drink myself and it's gonna be a mess. Oh, and I have to, well, normally on Sunday I would meal prep, but like I said, because I haven't vlogged so long, I don't know what I've mentioned or what I've told y'all, what I filmed and didn't have it put out or whatever, but I get meal prep delivered from a company called Camille's. Again, I've posted about this plenty of times on my Instagram and they delivered, yes, they delivered my food. So, all right guys. Let me get this. Every Sunday, I get my meal prep delivered. Um, this week, I did 10 meals, so really I normally just look at the weekdays, so the weekends can be a little unsuspecting, or you know, I just try to plan for my weekdays at least. Uh, last week, sometimes I do five meals, just depending on my week, just depends on what I'm doing. But yeah, so I get 10 meals. I think this is the jerk chicken. I have impossible meatloaf. Um, and these are based on my macros and my goals. So like I only get half of the carb serving. Um, and sometimes we do double protein. And I have turkey lasagna. And then meatballs. So I don't have to really meal prep anymore on Sundays because it gets delivered and that's that. So now I have my lunch and dinner for the week. Um, I'm getting delivered my protein shakes. So I'll be doing like a protein shake and a banana for breakfast. I have turkey bacon and stuff like that if I decide to do like a hot breakfast, but I think I'm gonna try to do like shakes and something a little bit lighter in the morning um, or after my workout and then my meal. So yeah, but this makes things so much easier to have 10 fully prepared, completely done meals. I'll put my coupon code and link in the description box below. Um, because I am an ambassador with them. So, you know, I do get a discount code with them. But it's been really helpful. Um, it's been super helpful. Not to mention, groceries are crazy right now. I do not have time to go from store to store trying to figure out who has chicken that is not $700. So it's just been super helpful. Um, and then with working out, I can like, just pop these in. Or if I come from the gym at night and I'm hungry, I can just come home microwave and zap it, call it a day. I have even taken these with me in my lunch bag. And depending on how crazy my schedule gets, I have gone into a quick trip, heated up my food and eaten in the car uh, just to stick to my goals and stuff like that. So it's been super helpful. So shout out to Camille because you can't be having food already made. That is extremely convenient. And I've done some meal prep stuff before, some protein, some shakes and stuff like that. Um, what is it? Healthy Chef? green chip you know those order things i don't even want the ingredients i want it to be completely done i want y'all to have it. it even has let's see so these are the meatballs so if i want to log this into 
my fitness pal focus there we go it has my name it has five ounces of protein so i know how to log it these are turkey meatballs and then it has half of a carb serving which is just white rice so it just makes it very easy for me to log but yeah y'all let me put these up um we air stuff he has to work today um i don't know now i haven't seen these i filmed about these leggings but i don't think i even posted the vlog where i had these leggings on i got these amazing leggings from shein this is not um sponsored at all but these are amazing leggings i bought them in every color they have they're only 12 bucks i'm gonna randomly put the link to that because y'all need these leggings but yeah let's get our day started i'll probably take this vlog into my day since i completely did not vlog yesterday yesterday was a beautifully lazy saturday it was a lazy Saturday that I deserve. So I don't feel guilty. Just a little bit, but. Huh. Phoenix is currently losing her mind, but we just got to the belt line. It is so packed out here today. I'm mad because I had to chase her in the front yard and I dropped my tripod. So I'm just gonna be using my phone in my hand today, but not too much planned. Just wanna get some walk in with her. The thing I really like about Phoenix I love Taffy, obviously, but one thing I do like about us having Phoenix now, Phoenix is very active. Y'all know when I used to have Taffy out here, Taffy would end up in a stroller halfway through because she was like, okay, after a mile, she's done. I can take Phoenix for a full six mile walk and she still will be running to the car. So she's very active. Phoenix is actually helping me stay active because even if I'm not working out, like in the gym, she still has to have at least 30 minutes a day. So that has been super duper helpful. So we're gonna start walking, try to get at least three miles in today. Shout out to me having a small car because look at her. <laughs> it is so packed. Phoenix drank two water bottles, but this has been really good for her. Before we were walking her like that, I feel like she wasn't really sleeping at night and she was just a little bit more rowdy. This week, I feel like she's been really well behaved um, and I feel like it has a lot to do with her being active. So I'm gonna try to make a, I'm, go I'm going to make a habit out of this. I really want to just stop and grab some food on the way home because I'm hungry now, but it's spaghetti in there. So I am already trying to pre-plan what I can make when I go home to get some lunch. The groceries get delivered at like five. So I'll be home in time for that. I'm really feeling like this has been such a good, peaceful Sunday. Give her a bath, but I'm feeling like I should do like my own little bath and soak. Last week, I was so sore. I worked out Monday. I worked out every day. But when I worked out Monday, I was sore the entire week after that. Like I'm talking about could not sit down like couldn't walk none of that so i might go ahead and just do like a doctor what is it dr teal's soap tonight or something like that girl we see you in the camera but yeah feeling like a good sunday it's feeling like a put the windows down and ride the ozzy brothers kind of day so i'm gonna really try not to hop off the exit and end up grabbing food because i really want to save money um plus like i said the groceries uh, joe is worried about everything but these groceries and the gas chicken being six dollars a pound for the boneless skinless chicken breast is wild they got oxtail prices on chicken breast so i'm gonna go home and cook let me put my phone down because you know it's illegal in atlanta and i'll see y'all all right y'all my amazon groceries are here don't mind my mask if you watch my dermalogica skincare video you know this is my weekly multivitamin mask from them i got a case of water too but that's going to stay up on the stairs so everyone gets home this is literally the most convenient thing. And like I said, delivery is free. So honestly, it is not more expensive than regular groceries. A little mini grocery haul. I got some bananas. Love this delivery person because they got green ones. I hate. I almost don't trust people buying my produce. So I'm glad we didn't get like brown bananas. Hermes likes light. Minute Maid, that's kind of our compromise. He's a big juice, soda, all that kind of stuff drinker. So that is our compromise. I did get some chicken. I got some Purdue like chicken breasts, kind of pre-cooked. 
um, and some little organic chicken nuggets from them. Because, like I said, sometimes I need to eat immediately and it's like, I don't have time for the chicken breast and the cook of and I'm just like, I need basically healthy fast food at home. Got some salsa. So some people asked, or people ask me typically when I say I do Amazon Focus, like if it's from Whole Food or what the brand is, but you can see this literally says, well, maybe you'll be able to see. Boom, so this has Amazon Kitchen. So this is literally coming from like the Amazon warehouse. Got my Premier Protein. This is a protein that I like to drink. I have my blender and stuff, but sometimes, especially after workout or at work, I need to get it and go. Like I don't have time to mix it. Um, I did this one in the cafe, what did I do this in? Cafe latte flavor. Uh, very rarely I'll get like black coffee from Dunkin or Starbucks and I'll mix that in with it and that is tasty. Soup, more healthy fast food home options. Um, I do healthy choice and progressive light. I know I, what are you chewing on? What is that Phoenix? Y'all, a puppy is literally like a toddler. This dog is eating the back of my burka stop. I can't even, I have to focus one thing at a time. I did get some grits. I was doing brown rice grits from, get away from that shoe. From Delta Blue, they have a brown rice grits. I have posted about it more than once. Love it, but it's expensive. It's expensive and I'm not even really trying to do a lot of carbs like that right now. Um, at least not processed carbs, so I didn't get that. I just got some regular grits just for when I have a like grits craving, which I do get very often, just so I have it in the house. I at least want to have it in the house. I didn't realize how much this vlog was going to be in the kitchen. And then, last but not least, I got Spindrift. Again, Aramis like soda and things like that. So this sparkling water is a happy medium that we both really like. Um, gives you carbonation, gives you a little bit of sweetness, but it's just sparkling water and fruit. So I'm gonna put these up and then, am I done for the night? I don't know, but I'm gonna put these up and then I might see you guys tonight or I'll see you in the morning. Y'all are not gonna believe, this is not how the vlog is supposed to go next. Y'all are not gonna believe what is going on. It's cold out here. so. We're in this little shopping center. We ran inside somewhere real quick. The dogs are supposed to have their vet appointment today to get their shot so they can get boarded. Airmis misplaced the car key. Okay, AAA can open the car, cool. The dogs are in the car, we gotta get them out. We call AAA, AAA says we have to call 911 because there's animals in the car. Let me just show y'all. Hold on. <laughs> the whole fire truck they sent the whole fire truck <sighs> I can't do nothing regular I gotta do everything else. I knew I should have drove <laughs> we gonna get them though they're in there I have said this on my Instagram before y'all will know when I have made it it will not be a private jet it will not even be a mansion it will be a driver we have the worst car look. It is always something with our cars. Is it not? It always is. It always. We had a stint where it was like, every other month, one of us get in an accident. Our cars got stolen within two months of each other. Like, it's always something. Right. Needless to say, we're about to go home now. A tire. You're going to lose a tire in Atlanta. A tire, a pothole mess up my alignment. It's always literally something. But, am I over here somewhere? But... We're about to go home. Next time you guys see me, I'll look like a human and I'll be going to the housewarming party situation. Just wanted to check in with this surprise event. Try to get some daytime footage, but I'll see y'all tonight. All right, y'all. I am getting ready to leave the house to go to the housewarming. Um, I'm running late. <laughs> What's new? The game room looks a mess, but I got on my little athlete hoodie. This is the brand, the people whose house I'm going to, my trainer. Got these cute little Nike dunks I never really wear. But they match the hoodie really well. Phoenix is trying to get in here. I gotta get out of here. I'm running late. The dogs are running me ragged. I love my dogs so much. Sorry, I know I'm like Blair Witch Project. I love the dogs so much, but they are wearing me out. Phoenix has diarrhea or something. It's just a lot going on. So I'm gonna get out of here. I am taking my camera. 
I don't know where my hand tripod is for my phone, so I might just have to have a big camera all night. But let me get out of here. We going to the housewarming. Coming here to show love and just help us celebrate this important moment in our lives. I love all y'all. Where's his camera? What do you find your people? What do you find your people? What's your? What's your? I don't have to them yet. Somebody else asked me that. It's me, Malibu Darby. Welcome to my channel. The Malibu Darby. The Darby. The Darby. The Darby. That's so obvious. Y'all said it like it was a. Follow me on Instagram, like yeah. the leader. I love you. Yeah. You're a workout. They've heard about you before, man. You've been on the vlog before. Come in. I'm not even trying to do it. I'm not even trying to do it. I'm not even trying to do it. I'm not even trying to do